Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a message box in your startup. Now this this does work for XP, I do know, but I know it is under a couple different names, but they're close. They're they're practically the same thing, minus a couple words. So th um, things may vary if you're doing this on XP, Windows Vista. Well, this is Windows Vista, so you're in luck if you're running Vista. But XP users out there, don't let this turn you away because it's almost the same. Now, in this uh, video, um, you will be, when you first turn on your computer, you know you go through your startup and then you, you know to your login screen, and then before you log on screen, you'll say you'll see a box pop up. Then you can put a message in there and it. And then you gotta push OK to get the box away. Then you can log in as your leisure. So, the f um, so this is um perfect if you have an annoying person that's on your computer and you wanna leave them a little message. A really annoying person. Or if you have someone that uses your computer and then likes to change settings and screws it up. This is perfect. You're watching the right video. So. I have also noticed on YouTube there are not many videos of this. The one I did watch, it had no audio, so it took me a little guessing to figure it out. So, enough about me yakking. I'm sure you guys want to know how to do this. So, what we'll need to do is we will need to go to Start, and then you can do it either through here or you can go the Run, but I'll do it the long way. Go to Run and then type in reg edit okay I already have it pulled up I'm sorry but what I will do oh crap oh I did not mean to do that just kidding okay that's my luck okay, okay let's click that this time here's what I will do I am going to can I copy that? Uh, can I copy you? Well, here it is right here. Computer. This one. X. When HX key. Um, local machine software, then Microsoft, then Windows ND, and current version, and Windows login. That's a lot to take in, so I want to show you where that is. You will come up to a page. Yours won't be expanded. Mine is just because it is, and I'm lazy and I don't want to unexpand it. So I'll have to search for it again. So, what you'll need to do is you'll click on your computer tab, and then you'll come down to H key underscore local underscore machine. And let me see, does it have anything else? No. So then you'll go down to software right here and then after software you'll scroll down keep going down to Microsoft right here then once you're at Microsoft expand that folder keep going this is a long list You'll go down to Windows NT. Now there's now this is where it varies. You might have current version. Just look for something that says current on it. Okay? Look for something that says current. And then you go down to Windows log on. Now once you're here you do not expand anymore you'll come up you know, it'll be like this so I want you to do is I want you to click Windows log on and then you'll have all this crap come up I have no idea what all this stuff is but I know what a little bit of it is and then what I want you to do is I want you to search for the one that is legal notice caption double click on it and then this is your caption your caption is this right here Okay, and trust me, this is not the message box. Okay, this is not the message box. So, okay, say if I want to say I am watching you. 
Okay, that's your caption. That's going to be right here. Click OK. Then go down one and click on Legal Notice Text. Double click. And then it says you can type in Please don't piss me off. I am tired of fixing your uh, fixing my computer. Thanks and have a great day. So you can write that and then you click OK. So then after that, unfortunately I cannot show you this part. No way, better yet, I can. I will show you this part. Let me pause the video and I'll pull up my virtual computer and then I will be able to show you what it looks like. Just give me a th couple seconds or minutes, I shall say. Okay, I'm going to try this with Windows 7. See how that runs because Windows 7 is based on Vista. Go figure. So, let's see if I can do anything there. Right now, my virtual box is starting. And I will be back in a couple seconds. Welcome. It's welcoming me. That's awesome. My virtual box is running amazingly right now. And we are up. Let me just. X out of that. Okay. Now. This is going to be interesting. Using this. Alright. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to start, run. Okay. I'll show you one more time. Yes, I want permission. Uh, okay. Hold on. Let me see one thing. What's this under? Local machine. Software. Microsoft uh, I missed it Where's the Windows? Windows NT Windows current version and then we will go down to a log on and then click it. Okay, we are here. So I want to type this in again. Double click. Hello. Um, yeah, remember I am watching you. I don't know if you like typing all that again. Oh, I can't do it. Okay, um, let's go to um. Okay. Oops, I lost my box. Okay. Click OK. X out. Okay, that's awesome. Start. Shut down. And now my V computer's gonna stop. 
Okay, now I'm going to start up my computer again. Okay, and then here it says, Remember, I am watching you. Please do not change my settings. I am tired of fixing my computer. It is starting to piss me off. Thanks, Nick. Well, I have now just showed you how to put a message box right before you log in. What you'll do is go down here, click OK, and then it says welcome. Then you log in and carry on your business. I hope this video helped. Anything on your, it won't ruin your computer or anything. It's actually very clever to do if you're tired of running batch files. I uh, um, thank you for watching. Please remember to rate, subscribe, comment, let me know how I'm doing, and. Um, have a great day, and peace out. Catch you on the flip side.